For a Sianudim people, the 2023 election is an opportunity to consolidate on their gains of democracy and critical stakeholders including Sir Oliver Ebong, Mr. Anthony Luke and Dr. Wisdom Enam are optimistic that the party will record a landslide victory. Even in the face of our personnel area, we still stand. We, we still end everything that was thrown at us. Second Adam Gedda in 2019, we are going to do even more for the beginning of the day. Look at the team. Look at the team. Look at the team. Look at the team. A Senate is very much prepared to deliver the PDP and, and that's primarily because the PDP has been very instrumental for the development and the peace that we are experiencing in the Senate today. And so together we have come to ensure that there's continuity in the governance of the state. Applauding the massive turnout of party faithful. The governorship candidate, Pastor Romano, while reeling out his plans for the area, said it was time to change their socioeconomic narratives through productive and sustainable interventions. Because of what God has used the Gilgami Manuel to do, Abba Usun, Akredi Juto, Anam Airport, and I came to assure the Asiaudan people that you will not be left out in all our plans. My job now is to connect all of those things and make sure we produce work, we give jobs, we provide employment. It is work, work, work. Prosperity, prosperity, prosperity. Receiving the party's flag. The state assembly candidate, Prince Upamak Babio, appreciated the senior people promised to massively empower them while showing support for all candidates of PDP in the coming elections. Can we not change the narrative of empowerment? Let the Hagan look at all the days. I got to get empowerment even at December to December. Pastor Moba say no. And a square pet in a square hole. Taking the Umayana message further. The deputy governorship candidate, Senator Akune Yarenyi, and the Akwaibom North West District senatorial candidate, Barrister Emmanuel Enoidem, had this to say. <laughs> The rally featured defection of prominent opposition figures in the area to the Umbrella Party. Samuel Ayara, AKBC News.